So I'll explain my little happy dance. Uh, my wonderful friend Francis sent me some yarn to make things for the animals in Australia. She did tell me she was sending yarn, but I had no idea how much she was sending. Thank you very much, Francis. I've been very impressed by so many people learning to crochet just to be able to help with this effort. So today I'm going to show a very easy pattern that even someone who's new to crochet should be able, hopefully be able to follow along with. Um, my last video was on how to crochet the nests. The link is up here. Right now the highest need is for joey pouches. So I'm going to show how to make the crocheted outer joey pouch. I'll put links to a couple of Facebook groups in the description where you can find a lot more information. You can find all the patterns for the various different items that are needed. Uh, things are needed to be sewn, crocheted, and knitted. There are patterns for all of those. So let's get started on the joey pouch. So a chain stitch is the first stitch that you'll use in most projects unless you're working in the round. So you take your yarn, hold it around those two fingers, wrap it around, bring it to the top, stick the hook through, through that first strand and pull the second strand through and then pull on both ends of the yarn. And then if you pull the tail, the hole gets bigger. If you pull the working yarn, the loop on the hook gets smaller. So you don't want to have it too tight when you first start. About like that. About like that is good. And to hold the working yarn, you wrap it around your ring finger and then up over your pointer finger. I'll do that again. Wrap around your ring finger and up over your pointer finger. And to do a chain stitch, you yarn over and pull through the loop. And you just keep doing that. Yarn over, pull through the loop yarn over, pull through the loop. Usually if you're using a pattern it will tell you how many chain stitches to do or if you're just doing it without a pattern just chain stitch it to the approximate length that you want. If you're going to be doing single crochets make it a little bit shorter than you want. So I'll show that again. Yarn over pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Another thing when doing the chain stitch is you want to try and have it as even as possible, but it's better if it's not super tight. If it's super tight, when you do a square or rectangle, instead of being straight, it's going to be out like that uh, to where the, the following rows will get longer. So nice and even but not very tight. Let the hook size determine how tight it is rather than kind of pulling very tight on it. And that is a chain stitch. So for the pattern that I'm following for the Joey pouch it needs to be 12 inches wide. So now I have my 12 inch chain and the next step is pretty simple. I'll show you the easiest way to do it. So you see how this is, this here is the last chain 
right before my hook. And that's the, that loop that I'm pulling up is with the working yarn. So you want to go into the second chain because if you go into this one, you'll just undo what you've just done. So go into the second chain and you'll see it's kind of like a braid or like a lot of V's stacked on top of each other. So just put your hook into the stitch so that it just gets that top side of the V. See that? And you don't want to get any of the loops on the back. So there should be just one strand of yarn that you've gone through. And then you yarn over, pull it through, then yarn over, and pull through both loops. And that is a single crochet. I'll show that a few more times. So you stick your hook in, catching just the strand on top, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. Again, stick it into the very next stitch, just the top, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. So you finish the row with a chain stitch and then turn your work. And to do a standard single crochet, you would poke it through that stitch under both sides of the V. But we're not doing it that way. We're sticking it through only the side of the V that you can see. Hope, hope that's easy to see. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through both loops. So that's the next stitch. We're sticking it only through the first strand of the V. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through again. I'll show you again here. Stick it up through just that first strand. So there should only be one strand on the, on the hook plus your loop back there. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. And if you keep doing that all the way to the end of the row, and then do the same thing, chain one and turn your work. The reason for doing it through only one of the loops is it makes it a little bit a little bit softer, a little bit stretchier, a little bit less stiff. I hope that was easy to understand and follow. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments and I will try to answer to the best of my ability. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.